Hey everybody, I got a request today to do a mini, micro, teeny tiny MIPS example muddiest point uh, on doing the, uh, going over the MIPS, uh, uh, the MIPS performance metric and how to use it. So uh, we saw this slide very, very quickly in class and I didn't really get a chance to go over it a lot, uh, but I want to do that now. So basically there's two important instructions, uh, two important versions of this equation. There's the MIPS is equal to the instruction count divided by the execution time uh, times 10 to the sixth, right? So this is basically saying MIPS is millions of instructions per second. So if you have the number in millions of instructions and you've got the execution time, it falls out. Basically this divide by 10 to the sixth is basically the millions part and we just want to cancel that out. And then this is kind of a derivation of, in, uh, of replacing our equation for execution time in here. We see that instruction count uh, cancels out and we get clock rate uh, flopping up on top which gives us this version. So we really only want to pay attention to two, these two versions of the equation. The second equation is the frequency divided by the CPI times 10 to the sixth again. And we'll go through a couple of examples. The first one uh, uses Microsoft Word. And I did some Googling and a uh, ballpark guess apparently is that Microsoft uses about 30 million instructions to start up. So this is this is fairly realistic. This is crazy. Uh, it's I found an article that said that Microsoft Word uses 30 million lines of code, which is an insanely large amount for a, what should be a basic uh, a basic program. Then uh, then let's say that uh, Microsoft Word takes seven and a quarter seconds to start up on my computer. Now that I've got these two things, I look at those two equations uh, here and I can see that I've got the instruction count in millions and I've got the execution time. I can plug those into there and calculate MIPS straight from that. So I use this equation and I plug in instruction count. I've got 30 million, which is 30 times 10 to the sixth. And I've got execution time, which is seven and a quarter seconds. And you can see that the two millions cancel out. And that's the whole point because the unit is in millions. So I w all I have to do is divide 30 by 7.5, which gives me a whole four MIPS screaming fast. Now here's a second example. Now you might have a word problem like uh, before where uh, I gave you a bunch of tables and you have to calculate the CPI and then do execution time. I might al also ask you to calculate the MIPS for the um, for the same uh, information. So you've already calculated CPI and you've already probably got the frequency. So all you have to do is plug it into the other equation, uh, plug, uh, putting in uh, 100 times 10 to the six for frequency and uh, 1.44 for the CPI. And you can see again that 10 to the sixes cancel out and we end up with 69.44. So whatever that program was, it's way outperforming Microsoft Word and its um, uh, MIPS or throughput. Right? So that's actually it. That's all I wanted to do is go over a couple of examples and hopefully clarify uh, how MIPS works, works a little bit more. Thank you.